So I made this video on Thursday and then I lost my internet. I still like the video. I'm going to keep it. Uh, just kind of ignore some of the due dates that are there and uh, please, please ignore all the mistakes. Uh, I'm trying, I'm tired, uh, just like y'all are. And uh, I'll see if I can't do a better job. We'll see you tomorrow. Hope you enjoy the video. I decided to get the puppy in my introduction here because she's such a good puppy. I have made so many mistakes. I must be getting really, really tired. Um, the number of mistakes I made on the video. When it says um, millimeters, I really mean centimeters. I tried to correct it, but I don't think I got them all. Um, so uh, it needs to be 21 and a half uh, centimeters long, not millimeters long. Other than that, um, the rest of the video, I made some other mistakes in the video too. Um, uh, but the uh, the instructions are pretty good. How you do it is uh, is pretty good. So um, just take your time. Uh, don't stress out about it. This is not about perfection. And uh, we'll see you on Monday. So uh, have a great weekend. Okay, so today we are going to prep our tubes for... Uh, uh, assembly. Um, we're going to take these tubes that we've made and cut them to the right size. So if you've made yours correctly, they, they, they should, should be, be 21 and a half centimeters and a half long. Centimeters from here to here, from the tip to the edge of the triangle. So we put our uh, metric side of the ruler down here, scale, and it's 21 and a half centimeters. And uh, I'm pretty dang close there, close enough to where it's not gonna matter. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here from the edge, it's 21 and a half. And so there's gonna be a little bit of overlap. And so that little bit of mess up, a little bit of off, I'm off by about a millimeter uh, is gonna be fine. So 21 and a half mil. I must be tired, I keep messing up. It's 21 and a half centimeters long. You'll notice that my tubes are not perfectly straight. Uh, I wanna find the one that is the most crooked and uh, I'm gonna set that one off to the side. So this one is the one that's bent the most. Uh, it's not perfectly straight because, you know, hey, nature. Um, and so I'm gonna set him off to the side and I'm gonna keep these four. So these four, I'm gonna to cut to 21 and a half centimeters. So I'm gonna take my, trying, my uh, T frame and set it over to the side and uh, get it out of the way. And then I'm gonna mark on here 21 and a half millimeters. I need my, I've got a pencil, a pen somewhere, there it is. Uh, 21 and a half. Now, in order to cut this, all you have to do is fold it. So we'll fold it flat. See, I just folded it flat and cut it and that's all you have to do to cut it off. And you're gonna do that with all four of these. Since I've measured it once, I can just use that as my mark on the next one. Line them up at the end, mark it on the next one, line it up at the end, mark it on the next one, and then just cut them. Cut. Please don't lose these pieces that you've cut off. I don't know what we're gonna do with them, but they're probably gonna come in useful. Uh, don't throw them away. And so now I have my four pieces. I'm gonna get my T-frame back in here. And uh, so what's gonna happen is this piece is gonna go here and this piece is gonna go here but you'll notice that they overlap at the top here. So we wanna fix that. To do that, we're gonna cut this at a 45 degree angle. We need to cut down at a 45 degree angle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my triangle piece here. I'm gonna set it up next to the edge and line it up and draw that 45 degree angle because all of these are 45 degree angles from here to here, it's 45 degrees. Okay, so there's that one. And then at the bottom, I need another one going the opposite direction. So I'm gonna take my 
triangle on the other side and draw that triangle or draw that 45 degree angle. And so what you end up with is two 45 degree angles. I'm gonna do that for all of them now, just so I can get all the drawing out of the way up front. Set the T-square or T-frame off to the side again because I don't want to mess it up. And now I need to figure out how am I going to cut. Got them marked and they go in, they're going in opposite directions. Now I've got to figure out how do I cut these so that they, I'm going to cut it all the way around and then back up the other side. To do that, I'm going to cut it and I just stick the scissors on the inside and cut it all the way down. When it gets to the bottom of the scissors, it gets kind of hard to cut. So just be careful there. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, to make that line up, gosh, I feel like I might be messing up. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna cut this straight across. If I cut that straight across, and then I can cut this one back up. <laughs> now I have two 45 degree angles. I can line it up here. And then I know that that's 45 degrees and I can draw that if I want to, to make it easier for me. So I can draw that. And now I have a 45 on that side and a 45 on that side. So I've gotten me a tool to make this a little easier for me. And as long as we're close, there's gonna be a little bit of uh, flex when you put this all together. And that's what you're trying to make both sides. You're cutting off this side and cutting off this side and you need four of these. So let me finish these other three. go. I have my four beams prepped and ready to go for tomorrow. Back to the one that we didn't cut out earlier. We are going to need to make some little small pieces that are going to go from the bottom to the top of the little trapezoid. So it's going to go from here to here, just this little bit. We measured this originally and it was 20 millimeters. So I don't even need my T-frame to measure this out. I'm just gonna come here and I need two of them. And so I'm gonna go 20 millimeters and 40 millimeters. And we're just gonna cut those out and it's just two squares or two little tiny rectangles. So there's no uh, triangles to be made with this. So set this off to the side. We still need to keep this and these two guys are gonna be used tomorrow also, so, or on Monday also, so. 
they go with the uh, the new uh, tapered uh, tubes that you made. So this is what you need for today. And that's all you need. See you on uh, Monday. Do not throw away the cutoff pieces. Turns out they will work perfectly for one of the later steps. Well, it turns out I hit the wrong button on my camera when I was making the notebook paper square tubes. So you don't get to see the high speed of me cutting them out. Man, that's disappointing. And please remember to clean up because I don't want mom getting mad at you for leaving a mess all over the floor.